Boyle had said that with Kenny gone, you need some guys stepping up. And he mentioned you as a leader. Just talk about what your role is now, maybe trying to elevate with Kenny gone. Uh, pretty much really just trying to get all the young guys going in just the DB group as a whole and the defensive group. Um, uh, using my maturity that, and my experience that I got, and, uh, just bringing it towards this team and trying to maximize us as a whole as much as I can, and really just uh, just bringing, pulling guys along, trying to motivate them and teach them a little stuff, the, the stuff that I know, the stuff that I experienced, so they won't have to experience like the negative side of things and just be prepared for more stuff. So. With doing the safety and the Cinco and the possible hybrid position. What's that been like as you're learning all that? Uh, it's been cool. I mean, I've been doing it for a minute. Like, it's, I, it's not my first year practicing that. So, I mean, I've been doing it for a minute. So, it's really like just like the second hand for now. What's the differences between those two positions? Uh, the biggest difference, I'll just say, like, for me, like, I mean, it's just, I, you more down low, of course, but uh, – I say you more in the coverage more versus like the safe free safety you more like you're not in coverage as much. So I say that's the only biggest difference. But like I say like the run game is pretty much kind of the same as free safety for real because you can like you know you in the box when you at sink of or or the hook and uh, you're gonna box a lot too at free safety. So I say it kind of similar in a lot of ways. What's the biggest <clears> way in which the, the safety group as a whole has developed say from this time last year to now? Uh, I just say like we just keep elevating for real. Like we just keep on taking steps in the right direction for real. I mean, it's not really nothing night and day. We just keep on going up for real. So I feel like we are just coming together. We bring it, our the bond is getting stronger, and we are just trying to uh, learn more for real. I feel like everybody's taking that next step of learning the game of football and learning like they they body position, like just learning like getting the good habits done with their body position and everything. So I feel like we just like learning more about ourselves and what like is best for us. How we can be be in the best position to uh, play, make plays. What do you think about Mason Ellis? What has he shown you during practices? Mason Ellis, he saw a lot, man. He's been showing a lot since I've been here, man. Like, even, like, throughout the workouts. Like, he, uh, he going to work hard. He always going to do the right thing. Like, he, he just, like, he, man, he surprised me. Like, when I first got here, man, it's like, it's like, I never seen, like, he, he got it. He can jump. Uh, he got the strength, like he got the he can squat, like he got everything for real, man. He he fast, so like, I mean, he just he a freak for real. And he like, I feel like he gonna have a real good year, and he gonna be a real like for few, in the future. He gonna be a real big piece for uh, for Kansas. Coach Brown talked about how vocal Kenny was last year on defense. How do you think you and OJ are taking that step to be that vocal leader this year? Uh, just pretty much like just communicating, man. Just, just being confident out there. Us being confident just gonna bring more uh, confidence with the defense. So just being vocal and keeping the communication, making sure everybody on the same page, because that's what we need. And that's like I said, that's what we need to take the defense to the next step. Just having perfect communication, make sure everybody on the same page. Does that come naturally for you? Just the communication aspect of things. Uh, I I say like. Once I get it, like once I know it, yeah. But even like it's, it's been, been times like I yeah wrong stuff out. So I mean it's part of the game, but like uh, it's really just like just being vocal. Like once I really know it, like it's, it's everything's rolling for real. Going back to Mason real quick, just what do you think's the next step he can take to to carve out a role on defense beyond just the special teams that he's been doing? Uh, you said the next to to yeah. get on. Yeah, for defense, just to get on the, the field for defense. Uh, I mean I I say like he taking like he doing all the right stuff. Like I say like. Just from like the 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 mental aspect of football, he took a lot of big steps from that, and then like the physical, that never really been no problem for him. So I say like he on the right track right now. He just like keep working, keep studying the game, which we all need to do. But just keep on doing that, and we gonna, he gonna see a lot of time. Marvin, who's on your necklace? It's my sister. Okay. Yeah, it's my sister. <laughs> With Coach McDonald coming in, well, he seems like he brings an extra intensity to practice at times. What's that dynamic been like of him and if he had a chance to talk to him about his experience in the NFL or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I talked to him. I talked to him about that a lot. For real. Just uh, you know, he always be on me about the time. You know, it's my last year and everything, so you know, time time ticking. So he always just be on me about being on top of everything every day and everything, how the league is and everything. Just keeping it real with me, and which I like to hear and which I need to hear. And like his coaching style, like I just I'm a big fan of his coaching style because pretty much like my whole life, that's the type of coaching I've always been brought up on. So like it's perfect for me and how I learn and everything. I just feel like. 
he got me in a uh, good position to like just he he actually, I said like he uh, <clears throat> made me he actually like forcing me to be more vocal and like more of a leader and all that. So it's like I feel like he he's a great piece to our team. Marvin, I don't know if I've seen you wear that before. What would you want to do that for her? You said for your sister when you the picture. Yeah, what about it? I don't know if I've seen you wear that before. What would you want to do something like that for her? Oh, just to honor her. I mean, I always like. I mean, you know, everybody gonna grab a chain and everything. But like, I I knew like my first chain when I wanted to be dedicated to my sister and everything. Like even with the season and everything, I dedicate a lot of things for my sister and everything. So I made sure my first chain would be my sister.